Hello everyone and welcome to Loba Jadotaku and today we have a review of Figma's 398 Personas 5 Panther. Well I haven't played Persona 5 yet and I haven't watched the anime but this Figma collection is looking amazing and I decided to get the character as she looked really good. So before we start our review don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell icon to always know when the new review is up. Let's start that intro. Follow me, I'll cover you. As you can say, the box is the typical Figma box you have a Cool Atlas sticker here, Persona 5, some great poses that you can recreate. Uh, Figma boxes, I love them that they are so small but they are have so much personality and you can immediately tell it is a Figma box. Let's... Okay, let's open the box. Comes with the seal. Go. Now there's layers to the box, so we have first of all below everything we have, I believe it's the whip weapon that apparently has several parts. I'm not going to take it out yet. By the way, one of the differences that you can tell, for example, in Chaos versus Originals, the Originals don't need glue here, they don't need duct tape to hold the figure. Uh, so when you see duct tape, <laughs> probably it's a KO. Uh, then you have, of course, good wrapping paper around the figure to protect her. So the nice detail. But I gotta tell you it can be annoying because then you need to remove all of this plastic so I can already tell this figure is going to be very fun to build she has a lot of different new articulations and overall let's take a quick look at the figure itself she looks amazing. The sculpt and paint job on her is really, I would say, almost perfect. I would say perfect, really. Yeah, it's really well painted. Really great detail. Uh, great face. I don't know if the game is as anime accurate or not, uh, but I guess so because I, if I remember Persona, it is a very anime looking game so I probably would guess it is a very accurate face sculpt not only is her paint job amazing but her sculpt mm. is a bit special let's continue looking at the accessories we actually have some duct tape but this one is normal it is just to get this bag Two bags actually. So this, oh, our Figma bag, it's inside a bag. Why are you wasting so much plastic? Max Factory, really. And the instruction booklet is also inside a bag. This is unnecessary. This should be in the same bag with the stand and with the hands, but what the hell. This is wasting plastic. So we have our Figma bag to put all the accessories. I think, by the way, the chaos also don't bring just the originals. We have an instruction booklet. The instruction booklet uh, tells you what the figure brings, the mechanism that if, uh, this is uh, like I think a new mechanism the Figma is using on the legs to increase the range, where you can basically pull the hip joint down a bit to increase the range. It tells you how to switch. Faces, how to put the mask that she brings. Um, 
Danny tells you how to use the whip, how to put the whip on, on her hands. Some very simple instructions, but I'm glad that it brings them. Then we got our, her gun. So she has like this automatic gun. Good sculpt is not the, like incredible sculpt, but it is I think good enough. We have a fan that she holds. It looks very nice, you know. It can trick you to think that it is paper, but it is of course plastic. It's a very nice detail. Two extra faces. So we got her a winking face. And we got this looking to the side face. Uh, and then we have her mask. I do like the way that the mask like replaces a hairpiece and you can exchange it with all of the faces. That's really a cool detail. Okay, then we have our Figma stand. That is as amazing as always. I love Figma stands. I still think they are the best in the business. Uh, we have an extra joint for the hands. By the way, I wish both Figma and Revoltech officially would sell us joints. Like kits of joints because you can never know when a joint might break. Then for the hands we have Honor two open hands. And finally we have in our two, I don't know what to call this, winning pose hands. We have two grabby hands. We have two fist hands. And then a, a trigger hand, probably for that gun. And a holding hand for holding the gun with the other hand. So using a two hand pose. Okay, so I got the mask on, but how? So the face swapping technique is similar to the other ones, but it is a little bit angled. So when you swap faces, you need to be a little bit more careful. And I mean, so it is the same system, just with that angle. And I gotta say, it works really well. Her expressions are amazing with the mask and without the mask on. So, good job. And uh, now for the whip, I actually already had also had put the whip on. The whip is comprised into several different parts. For, for putting the whip, you need to remove the back part, put the hand in, then close it up. Then you have this other part that you can detach. And finally, you have another detachment somewhere around here. So you can pose it in basically I would say several different angles around this connection another thing it's like it's a gun so the gun should be held I believe by this hand there you go so the trigger hand is on let's Take this hand off, put it, so good connection. I like how it came off so easily. I hate when, for example, reval tags are too tight and you have to play around a lot. Figmas are much better in that sense. And there you go. Very easy to pose. I am very surprised, I think, Figma did do some good improvements on this figure compared with some of the older Figmas. I'm very pleased. I think this figure is really good. And now comes the interesting part. Let your fingers get in there and have a good old rub-a-dub. So, articulation. I think they're still using the same system on the head, but I need to check. Yes, we have a ball joint to ball hinge system but yeah gives you great range of motion 
up, down. She can look, look up too far. And there's no articulation on the neck. That's a pity, but I understand. It's a little bit because of the type of dress she has. But can swivel very good, tilt, but there's not that much up and down. And because you don't have articulation on the neck, that doesn't improve either. But then you have two ball, I believe it's ball joints, two ball hinges on their hair that allows you to really go to town with the poses that you can do with their hair. The shoulder also it is the classic ball joint to ball hinge system. It's always worked very well with Figmas and I think it does too here. It gives you great range of motion. Then we have also the same hinge on the elbow but that Gives you great angle, more than 90 degrees. Uh, then we have, I think we have a swivel on this bracelet. And we have a ball hinge on the hand. Now for this, I believe it is a ball joint. I believe it is just a ball joint here. Gives you not that many crunch and uh, not that many leaning back, but there's basically no gaps tilts side to side so great range of motion overall no waist swivel no waist articulation at all again I think this could have been improved uh, but it is not that bad I understand why they didn't want to do too many breaks on the dress then we also have a ball hinge on this tail I forgot to mention there's also a swivel near the end of the tail. Here's your warning. Great range of motion, great articulation. No complaints here. And then we have that system that I was talking about, the new system that Fima is using. So here we have the hips up. Allows you to kick forward, spread. Now, when I did that, immediately the hips went down. So if you're posing on normally she's a bit limited here here have uh, hips are up but immediately when you start posing too much the hips come down to give you more range of motion great kick great spread uh, it is of course two ball joints and of course a ball joint there uh, we have a swivel on this boot by the way <laughs> mine came off very easily um, so it is just pegged. But be careful, it may get loose too easily. And then we have a simple hinge in the knee. And of course a hinge in the foot, no toe bend. The articulation is great, even though I believe a neck articulation and waist articulation could have improved it. But I think they went for a better sculpt instead of more articulation, something that Figma prioritizes, for example, in relation to Rivaltech. So let's look at her size. Oh yes. Figma Persona 5 Joker. Figma Ram from ReZero. Figma Kazumi from Dead or Alive 5 Last Round. Figma Satsuki Kiryu from Kill a Kill. And finally, SH Figure Arts Re Zero from Darling in the Franks, a review you should definitely check out. So, should you check the others? Even without being a fan of the show, I really love this figure and it should be no surprise that it's getting my low budget of the cool seal of approval. If you're a Fiora Persona 5 fan, you definitely want this figure because it will look amazing with Joker and all of the other figures that Fima is bringing out of Persona 5. If you enjoyed the review, don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell icon to always know when the next video is up. Check out some other of my amazing videos, links to playlists and more information about the figure is in the description below. See you next time. Just do it!